Hi, it's John Birmingham. Hey, everybody. How are you? This is my YouTube. When you go to YouTube.com, this is what mine looks like today, August 24th, 2021. This guy here who teaches people how to make money at films. A video in the dark of me talking about ghosts and aliens. This guy who's a really good preacher. Very kind person. I think he's kind of like Mr. Rogers. He's very he's very kind in Ned Flanders. And they said I was they said I was that way too. I was so kind and godly and Nice to other, kind to others, kind to others, nice to others. <sighs> My sister said I'm like Flanders. And I think this guy's kind of that way too. He's like really, really nice. I like listening to him talk. Pastor Robert Mossbach. He's like in the UK. He was in, he was in an auto accident. He speaks with like a Swedish voice or something like that but you know he's american or i don't know what it is it doesn't that's a lot of different things but um he and he speaks he speaks english but with a swedish accent instead of a uk accent and he lives in the uk and he has a church or some kind of accent this guy is a brilliant guitarist i don't know if he has god and jesus but he's a really good guitarist and that's his thing that he does <sighs> but this god and jesus stuff is really important that's what it's really all about and this lady this lady here was in wilson phillips i think she was the one who had blonde short hair but i don't know and she believes in god and jesus she believes in God and Jesus. She's married to one of the Baldwin brothers. And I guess her... Uh, I guess one, one of the other Baldwin brothers, Stephen Baldwin, his son... Mar I mean, his daughter... Not his son. His daughter, Stephen Baldwin's daughter, married Justin Bieber. So she has a video talking about Justin Bieber, who's like really into God and Jesus, too. And this guy is in really athletic shape. I don't know if you can tell by this picture or not, but he's a, he's in really good athletic shape. I think he's a pretty kind, a somewhat kind person. <clears throat> but, you know, he's not like way into God and Jesus. He had a video on eating celery juice that may, that I may start drinking or drinking celery juice and I want to tell you all about and this is this other guy I don't know he's like I'm subscribed to him and my little sister knows him and um so I want to talk about this really 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 interesting thing that I found out really interesting thing that I found out <clears throat> I mean, it is interesting. Probably going to have to fly in a plane to Texas, I know. So, here's the thing that I found out that was that is amazing. Now, I thought I was under the impression. I thought, no, I wasn't under an impression. I thought that when we die, we go to heaven or hell. But we don't. We sleep. The Bible says we sleep. We sleep when we die. And we wait for Jesus to come down. And it's really interesting. And I don't know if I can even talk about it right now. I'm going to drink this coffee. I got to get to see my kids. And I'd like to be there with Danica so I can be with her. <sighs> so.
So you can look this up. It is really interesting. I'm going to go. It says we, we are not judged when, when we die. We lay asleep with our dead body or where our ashes are, maybe. I guess, yeah, with our ashes, where our ashes are. For those of us who are cremated, they're with our dead body and we're asleep. We are asleep and we are still there. And we are not aware of anything. We cannot talk. We cannot love. We cannot hate. We cannot do anything. We are asleep when we die. It says that in the Bible. Find some good places, sources. This one's been a good source so far. This one is a good source. Openbible.info. I think the guy who runs this or people who run this are really good. John, I'll just I'll just talk about it. John five twenty eight to twenty nine. Do not marvel at this, for an hour is coming when all who are in the tombs will hear his voice and come out. See, they'll be sleeping. When we die, we wait for Jesus to come down during the second coming to reign as king on earth. And he will awake everyone. And it'll feel like a tiny moment, less than a blink of an eye, maybe. Or a blink of an eye, a twinkle of an eye, it says in the Bible, will go by. It may be hundreds of years, maybe thousands of years that they lie, that we lay asleep, that we will lay asleep when we die, and we will all die. And. Jesus will come down and wake us up. Do not marvel at this, for an hour is coming when all who are in their tombs will hear his voice and come out. Those who have not, those who have done good, I don't know about the other ones who haven't done good, but it will say, I know about it, they will be <sighs> kind of put to shame and some stuff that may go to hell. Those who have done good to the resurrection of life and those who have done evil to the resurrection of judgment, they will come out. And many of those who sleep in the dust of the earth shall awake, some to everlasting life and some to shame and everlasting contempt. Oh, that sounds really bad. That's what I'm afraid of. Contempt meaning. The feeling that a person or a thing is beneath consideration, worthless, or deserving scorn. That's how they will feel. Shame and contempt. <clears throat> the dead do not praise the Lord. Nor do any who go down into silence. You know why? Because they don't love, they don't hate, they don't think. When they're asleep. They don't do any of that. I can't wait to go to heaven. I can't wait to go to heaven. It may be thousands of years. Maybe hundreds of years. Maybe one year. Maybe, to, maybe tomorrow I'll die and be asleep. Until the second coming. It won't be one year. It'll be one year that, you know, I don't know when I'll die. <clears throat> but it'll be at least seven years until Jesus wakes us up. After the tribulation, which I think, unless it's three and a half years. The tribulation, I think, is three and a half years or seven years when, when the devil and the demons try to fight all that's good. And they make all this turmoil on earth. They, not now, 
but they make a little bit now. It's not that bad because God is omniscient and omnipowerful and way more powerful than the devil and the demons. So that's why it's okay on earth. No one has ascended into heaven except he who descended from heaven, the Son of Man. Wow. No one is in heaven except he who descended from heaven, the Son of Man, Jesus. I thought there were angels in heaven. I'm not sure. I'm learning more about this. I know how to be good and kind to others. I know enough about how to be on earth. How to be a good Christian, as they say. And in reality, a real good Christian. Who's really kind to others. And feels the shame and contempt. Not shame, but... um. Not the shame and contempt, but... um the remorse, the regret for having done things that were sinful in the past. I feel sorry for doing those things. <clears throat> it's called repenting, kind of suffering and being like, oh man, this is terrible. Why did I do that? That was really bad. I don't ever want to do it again. Like that kind of feeling. And I felt that way for a couple of years one time. It was pretty bad. Because I sinned. I didn't know I was doing that much wrong. That's not the kind of thing that... You know, this life is not that long. And the dust returns to the earth as it was. That's the dust. And I read this. I had to brush up on it because um, I'm not a real pastor or priest or Bible expert. But I'm pretty good with this. I, I know how to act towards others enough. I know enough how to act towards others and how to be. To be kind and and to um, not sin as much. Anyway, this is and then that's not in any way. That is very important. And also, it says and the dust returns to earth as it was. That's the dust that God used to create a human body out of dust when He created Adam and Eve, and then they procreated to make babies. And he breathed his soul into the body after he created the body. A little bit of his soul to give that person his soul. So we're, we're part of God. We're from God. God created us from, from him. Each one of us, we are good. We have good souls, all of us. But those who do wicked acts and thoughts and stuff like that, they're going to be put to shame in everlasting contempt. But let's not think about that. We're good. We're all good. That's why it's really important to be kind to others. No matter who they are, we got to be kind to them. So here's what happens in this, this Bible verse. <clears throat> and the dust returns to earth as it was. The dust from the human bodies after they're done being alive, after we are done being alive, it returns to the earth. And the Spirit returns to God who gave it. But not yet. First there's a sleep. First they sleep with their bodies for a long time. When his breath departs, he returns to the earth. On that very day, his plans perish. Our plans we have on earth that we're, of things we're going to do. Sad. But those people are still alive. Their soul is still alive. 
and it's with their body and they're asleep waiting for Jesus during the second coming when he comes down to be king on earth who's then going to awaken all those people and then they'll be judged I believe I believe they'll be judged but it's maybe called something else it's different than I had thought the tombs were also the tombs also were opened and many bodies of the saints who had fallen asleep were raised for in death there is no remembrance of you in Sheol who will give you praise Sheol is Sheol is hell who will give you praise God can't praise you your parents can't praise you your husband or wife can't praise you your parents can't praise you if you're a bad person but you're a good person you are a good person I'm talking to a good person <laughs> I'll praise you. She's good. She is good. I love her. Or I love him. If it's Ronan or Ivan. I love him. Ronan or Ivan. They're good. If it's Ayla. I love her. She's good. She is good. I love her. Her. I love him. They are good. They're big. <laughs> they are good. And Danica. I love Danica. And my other loved ones. My parents. Love my other loved ones. <laughs> this is a really interesting thing that I found out. <clears throat> and it's beautiful. Of course, it's beautiful. It's part of the Bible. And, you know, I don't know how there'd be ghosts. But I don't know. But this says that people sleep when they die. And they wait for Jesus. You know, none of us go to heaven yet. We will go to heaven. We will go to heaven. Many of us will go to heaven. Many of us will go to heaven. But... We're asleep. That's what the Bible says. This is what God and Jesus. This is what God and Jesus said. But I can't understand because I saw my grandfather come down from heaven. He wasn't from heaven. He was in the window. But I thought for sure. I assumed. I assumed he was from heaven and he was without sin. He must have been asleep coming to me in a dream. And he was he was already without sin. He was already without sin. I think he was so good of a person, because of kind of a person. For in death there's no remembrance of you. Okay. Behold, I tell you a mystery. We shall not all sleep, but we shall all be changed in a moment, in the twinkling of an eye. At the last trumpet. See, that's when... Okay, that's what it really is. When we die, we're then judged. It's a twinkling of an eye. It's a very small... Well, it may be a hugely beautiful, but it's a very short... I think... What is a twinkling of an eye? And then we're judged. It feels like the twinkling of an eye when we die. And sleep for all those years or thousands of years or however long until Jesus comes down and, and then we're judged. And that's at the last trumpet when he brings heaven to earth. And he doesn't suffer anymore. He, he's a king. on. He will be a king on earth for a thousand years with no sin on earth. He'll bring heaven down to earth and I think heaven will end for a short time. Or that's what one thing in the Bible says, but I don't know if that's what it really means. Heaven's forever. It's forever. And and heaven will be brought to earth and then and then it'll go back maybe go back to heaven later. I don't know, but everyone will come down from heaven and it'll be on earth for a thousand years and all the evil stuff will be, will perish and it'll be it'll be in you know. This is something new. 
that I found out. It's something new about the Bible. It's really interesting. <clears throat> For the trumpet will sound and the dead will be raised imperishable. They will no longer, it will be, they will, they're imperishable. They will no longer die, be able to die. They won't be able to die. They will no longer be able to die. Once we die, we'll die. We'll all die as human beings. And then that puts us into a sleep. And it feels like a twinkling of an eye and we wake right up. And it's like we're judged right after we die, it feels like. But right now, they're really all asleep. They have not been judged yet. We're all going to be judged at the same time on Judgment Day. Or something like that. But let's not talk about judging. This is something new and different and beautiful in, in, a, in a way that I was not expecting at all from the Bible. Because I thought, you know, I knew. Thank God I didn't say stuff that was too wrong. Because we are technically judged after, like, it feels like it's right after we die. At the twinkling of an eye at the last trumpet. I'm going to look up what a twinkling of an eye means. In an instant, very quickly. <clears throat> so, it won't feel like, they, they will not get to have felt like they were asleep and dreaming or something, I think. Unless, unless maybe they were dreaming. <sighs> but, it says they're not, there's no brain activity. There is no... There are no thoughts, there is no love of anyone, there's no hate of anyone, there's no bad, there's no good that they can think. They're asleep, it says. When people die, this is what the, this is what the Bible says. And But it feels like, you know, even it, it may be a thousand years, maybe two thousand, maybe a hundred, maybe a few, maybe thirty years. <sighs> but... It will feel like they they die and wake right up. Jesus wakes them up and they're judged. Really interesting. This is from Corinthians 15, 51 to 55. Behold, I tell you a mystery. We shall not all sleep, but we shall all be changed in a moment. In the twinkling of an eye at the last trumpet... For the trumpet will sound, and the dead will be raised imperishable, and we shall be changed. For this perishable body must this perishable body must put the imperishable, and this mortal body must put on immortality. For this perishable body meaning a body that we have the body we have now will die it's perishable like food like fruit in a refrigerator that can go bad one day it'll go bad if it sits there too long our bodies will die one day so the body will be changed in a moment in the twinkling of an eye from a perishable body that died to imperishable it'll be there forever and the more and the mortal body must put on immortality mortal body means a body that will die one day will then become immortal meaning will live forever however it doesn't say how we're going to experience living forever when the perishable puts on the imperishable Meaning, when the perishable body that perishes becomes imperishable, like it lasts forever now, after we die, and the mortal puts on immortality, meaning a mortal person who just dies, or who dies, and then is sleeps, and then in the twinkle of an eye, they wake up, and then they're immortal. When the perishable puts on the imperishable, when the mortal puts on immortality, then shall come to pass the saying that is written, 
Death is swallowed up in victory. O oh, death, where is your victory? O oh, death, where is your sting? They ain't going to be dead anymore. We're not going to be dead anymore. We will continue to live after we die. <clears throat> so we are always of good courage. We know that while we are at home in the body, we are away from the Lord, for we walk by faith, not by sight. Yes, we are of good courage. And we would rather be away from the body and at home with the Lord. Wow, that's really good. That's really good. Of course, we'd rather be at home with the Lord. That's how we want to be. Rather than, oh, rather than with our bodies and away from the Lord. Because there's so much, well, that's just the way it is. Feels better there. But you don't want to die or something. It's okay being alive. I can't wait until, I don't know. You got to use this life with all you have. You have to use this life with all you have to do good. You got to put a, a really big, relentless energy with all your might. You got to do your best, it says in the Bible, to be good. To be kind to others. To do God's work. You got to really do your best. It's not easy. Because that day will come. When we're judged after we die. It'll feel like it's right after we die. And it could come any day. We could die any day. We don't know when it's going to be. <sighs> so we got to find God and Jesus quick. You really got to find Jesus. There's way, way, there's a way much more chance of getting into heaven when you have Jesus. That's almost the only way. That's kind of the only way when you follow Jesus. But there are some people who have been righteous who I think can make it to heaven when they're non-believers. But it's, it's very rare. <sighs> really got to have Jesus. Then you know how to really be. So we are always of good courage. We know that while we're at home in the body away from the Lord, we miss the Lord. We walk by faith, not by sight. Yes, we are of good courage. We would rather be away from the body and at home with the Lord. Then you feel really good and happy wherever that is. But right now, sometimes it feels okay because we have part of the Lord inside of us or you know and we have one another we have other people who are part of the are some of you know were created by God who is the Lord God and but in fact Christ has been raised from the dead he's the only one who has been raised from the dead and, and he went to heaven. The uh, well, he was he he went he he descended to hell to do some stuff there. And then he, I don't know what or something like that. We'd have to look it up to see. The first fruits of those, the cat. He is good. Ha <laughs> ha. The first fruits of those who have fallen asleep. For as by a man came death, by a man has come also the resurrection of the dead. For as in Adam all die, so also in Christ shall all be made alive.
but each in his own order. Christ the first fruits, then at his coming those who belong to Christ. I don't know exactly what that means. I don't feel like trying to figure it out right now. <sighs> but in fact, Christ has been raised from the dead, the first fruits of those who have fallen asleep. First fruits meaning first act agriculture or produce of a season, especially when given as an offering to God. Check out more videos on my page on God and Jesus. Please, God, be with us. Amen. Help us do.